Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman on his country's national day. His Majesty expressed his best wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the Sultan and further progress and prosperity for the people of Oman under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty praised the depth of the Bahraini Omani relations and their development in all fields, wishing them further progress and prosperity to meet the aspirations of the two brotherly people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks and appreciation from Pope of the Vatican, His Holiness Pope Francis, in which he expressed his greetings to His Majesty and best wishes to the people of Bahrain. His Holiness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality during his visit to Bahrain, which is a country of remarkable civilization and history, as well as a diverse races and cultures living together in peace and harmony. His Holiness added that during his visit he was impressed by the diverse Bahraini community with its various races and religions as they testify that all can live together in the world in which indifference and mutual accusations are still increasing and there is an increase in rivalries and conflicts and extremism that threatens the safety of all. His Holiness expresses thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for hosting and organizing international conferences and for providing opportunities for meetings that seek to bolster mutual respect, tolerance and religious freedom, particularly Bahrain Dialogue Forum, East and West for Human Coexistence and the last meeting with the members of the Muslim Council of Elders at Sakhir Palace Mosque. His Holiness stated that such meetings are important at the current time for the interest of humanity to always work for peace and harmony in the world. He concluded his letter by wishing His Majesty the king abundant health and happiness and behind further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq on Oman's National Day. His Royal Highness expressed his wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the Sultan and further progress and prosperity for Oman and his people under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness hailed the level of brotherly ties between the two countries and people, wishing them further progress and prosperity to meet the aspirations of the two people and achieve uh, their common interests. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks from the Pope of the Vatican, His Holiness Pope Francis. His Holiness expressed his thanks to all the authorities and the people of Bahrain for the warm reception and the kind hospitality during his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Holiness Pope Francis prayed for the continued efforts to consolidate peace, foster dialogue, solidarity, religious freedom and equality between all people for a better future for humanity. The Bahraini Omani relations enjoy a special care for bo from both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq War in this report. Bahrain and Oman enjoy strong fraternal and historic relations and common goals regarding national, regional, Arab, and international developments. The relations between the two countries continue to prosper thanks to the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq, which aims to strengthen the bonds of fraternity, ties and kinship that unite the two peoples. Bahrain and Oman continue to witness bilateral cooperation in all fields, including the political, economic, cultural and tourism fields, which reflects the keenness of their majesties to further enhance these relations in order to benefit both countries and their peoples. The Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq, is keen on enhancing relations between Oman and the world countries in order to achieve international peace and security. More in this report. Oman has always worked on strengthening foreign relations in its Gulf, regional and global surroundings. The Omani foreign policy was keen on strengthening relations of cooperation and friendship with world countries, and out of the unity of destiny, the Gulf relations received great attention from the Sultan of Oman. On the Arab level, His Majesty Sultan Haytham has always affirmed Oman's support for the Arab League, as the support comes through cooperation with the brotherly leaders of Arab countries to achieve the desired goals, improve the lives of citizens, and free the Arab region from conflicts and disputes, as well as work to achieve economic integration that serves the aspirations of the Arab people. On the international level, 
Amman's firm approach is based on peaceful coexistence between nations and peoples, good neighborliness, non-interference in the internal affairs of others, respect for the sovereignty of states, and international cooperation in various fields in order to achieve international peace and security. Oman's Vision 2040 aims to achieve sustainable development, providing high living standards for citizens and strengthening the pillars of social protection in all its forms. More in this report. Oman's Comprehensive Vision 2040 comes with a set of policies and plans to build a diversified and sustainable economy based on development, knowledge, innovation and entrepreneurship with integrated and competitive frameworks that aim to achieve industrial revolutions and financial sustainability. Based on the three main axes, human being and society, economy and development, governance and institutional performance, Amman's Vision 2040 grows with its future aspirations and sustainable development goals, which put at the top of its priorities the provision of a decent and sustainable life for all. Amman's Vision 2040 came to be the country's legitimate gateway to cross obstacles to a path of prosperity and development, and it is a beacon that will guide the country through its light to keep pace with regional and global changes, invest in available opportunities, and generate new ones in order to activate the principle of economic competitiveness, social welfare, and stimulate the growth of confidence in the economic, social, and development relations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif and Rashid Zayani, met with Yemeni Foreign Minister Dr. Ahmed Awad bin Mbarak, who arrived in Bahrain to participate in the 18th edition of the Manama Dialogue. They discussed the strong fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Yemen and ways to enhance joint cooperation in all fields to serve mutual interests. They also discussed developments in the political and security situation in Yemen, international efforts exerted to reach a political solution to bring peace to Yemen, in addition to reviewing developments in the political situation situation in the Middle East region and issues of common concern at the regional and international levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Tlaif and Rashid Zayani, met with Foreign Minister of Bangladesh, Dr. Abdel Kalam Abdel Mu'min, who is in Bahrain to participate in the 18th edition of the Manama Dialogue. They discussed the friendship and cooperation relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the People's Republic of Bangladesh and the development and growth they are witnessing in various fields and ways to enhance bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries for everything that would achieve common interest, in addition to discussing a number of regional issues of common interest. The meeting was attended by the head of the Afro-Asian Affairs Section, Ambassador Fatma Abdullah Lan, and Yemen's Ambassador to Bahrain, Mohammed Nazar Islam. The Foreign Minister, Dr. Abdel Latif and Rashid Ziyani, met with the Minister of State at the Federal Foreign Office of Germany, Tobias Lindner. During the meeting, they discussed the close friendship and cooperation relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Federal Republic of Germany and the advanced level they have reached in light of mutual concern and common desire to strengthen and develop them in all fields to serve common interests, in addition to a number of regional and international issues and, uh, of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Tif Rashid Ziyani, met with Special Envoy Tsai Jun of the Chinese government on the Middle East. During the meeting, they discussed aspects of intensifying cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the People's Republic of China at various levels and upgrading it to more comprehensive levels to serve common interests and aspirations, in addition to discussing a number of topics and issues of common concern at the regional and international levels. The meeting was attended by the head of the Afro-Asian Affairs Sector, Ambassador Fatma, Fatma Abdullah and China's ambassador to Bahrain, Anwar Habibullah. In celebration of the International Day for Tolerance, Bahrain's ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a reception to emphasize the importance of peaceful coexistence and the establishment of peace to which Bahrain attaches considerable importance by respecting human rights and religious freedoms. The first secretary at the embassy, Sheikh Al Anoud, Bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which she highlighted the historic visit of Pope Francis to Bahrain, which reflects the kingdom's keenness on highlighting the principles of tolerance, peaceful coexistence, and mutual respect. She also spoke about Bahrain's announcement to launch the King Hamad International Award for Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, the Apostolic Nuncio to Great Britain. Archbishop Claudio Gorgirotti expressed thanks to His Majesty the King on behalf of the Vatican and His Holiness Pope Francis. 
for the invitation and uh, generous hospitality and for holding the Bahrain Dialogue Forum. The Director General of the Islamic Culture Center in the UK, Dr. Ahmed Adubian, has expressed pride in the model that Bahrain represents in the region. Very honored by your invitation to participate in today's reception. I join in the common wish for prosperity, peace, serenity for all the diverse people of Bahrain in its various convents. His Holiness Pope Francis visited your country out of the kind invitation of His Majesty the King on the occasion of the multi-religious meeting for the promotion of peace, tolerance and fraternity among believers. I thank you once again on behalf of the Holy See for the cordial welcome given to the Holy Father. I can assure you that he was greatly impressed by the meetings he had with the civil and religious authorities and with the Catholics in the kingdom. What was said before is exactly, uh, corresponds exactly to, 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 not only to the re to reality, which is obvious, but also to the great impression that the Pope got from that meeting. It's really a remarkable day, that is, we celebrate together the International Day of, of Tolerance. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, and we have to say thank you so much for Bahrain for highlighting and raising actually the value of tolerance always and all the time. The IISS Manama Dialogue 2022 themed rules and competition in the Middle East kicks off this evening with a wide participation of more than 400 participants from different countries through high level representation of ministers, security officials, military leaders and academics. The dialogue will be held this year with the participation of European Commissioner Ozala von der Leyen who will be speaking at the opening of the international forum organized by the International Institute for Strategic Studies in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Delegations from the United Kingdom, France, Germany and the United States will also participate in the forum in addition to the participation of Norway and Finland through the foreign ministers of the two countries. Latest discussions of the summit focus on the impact of the economic boom of some emerging economic powers on the one hand and the economic challenges facing some of the developed countries on global policies and governance systems in the world on the other. Other objectives of the summit include studying national, regional and international means of action, reviewing the intentions of major powers and discussing how to support development despite global financial difficulties. The Information Affairs Minister Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi commended national talents for creating meaningful media content that enhances loyalty and belonging to the nation. He hailed the development process led by His Majesty the King with the support and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Dr. Naimi made the statement as he received in the presence of Under Secretary Dr. Abdurrahman Mohammed Bahar and Assistant Under Secretary for Radio and TV Abdullah Khalid Dusiri, the team in charge of Watani, which won the Golden Award for the Best Talk Show at the level of the Arab countries at the 22nd Arab Radio and Television Festival, which was hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The minister congratulated the work team, stressing the importance of the program, which reflected shining aspects of life in the Kingdom of Bahrain and success stories in various sectors. He said that the Arab Award recognizes the quality of Bahrain's radio and TV productions, expressing pride in national caters which strive to develop the media sector. The Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing an electoral silence during which all electoral campaigning stops before the start of the runoff for the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections tomorrow, Saturday. The first round of elections witnessed a wide participation of over 73%, where Bahrainis came to polling stations and all governance of the kingdom. As citizens wrote a new chapter in the political participation, which is one of the most important fruits of the reform project of His Majesty the King.